All right, so what do we have here? So we hope. Mm -hmm. And if you get the word wrong, you double tap it, fix it, and it puts the cursor back to the end. <laughs> now, we have to tell everybody, this is actually the largest smartphone ever. That's right. No, That's right. This is a, the 12-inch smartphone everyone's going to be carrying around. It folds up. That's right. No, um, it becomes a tablet. We're doing this on a tablet for demo right. purposes, yeah. obviously. That's right. But this is the same keyboard that you'll have on your phone. Same keyboards on the phone, uh, effectively the same core. Um, so, you know, I mean, I think there's just a couple advantages of swipe. The first one being instead of having to distinctly tap, mm -hmm. um, we just support the trace based mechanism. As you can see from my earlier input, I haven't hit the space bar. Spacing's automatic. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of speed boost in there. But the real important one is editing. So if I've made a mistake and I have sweetie instead of swipe and I want to fix that on a phone, you know, locating your finger into the cursor and fixing right. this error is it's hard to do. So double tap, slide through the swipe word choice window, it returns the cursor back to the end of the word. That that right there is responsible for a tremendous amount of, of increased efficiency. Mm -hmm. Both just perceived efficiency and cognitive efficiency as well as just actual inputting text at, at a faster rate. So a couple interesting things. So you know today if you're gonna input a more complex user string um, you know, that effectively requires you to, you know, say, let's say Phil's login is Phil, I don't know, 12. Mm -hmm. um, then, uh, you know, so we add that to our dictionary. Now I can go Phil 12 without changing keyboards. Oh, cool. Now, how did you add that to the dictionary? I just tapped it in. Okay. So any word that you tap in and hit the space bar immediately gets added to gotcha. the dictionary. So, and that's if it's an alphanumeric string. If I want to put something more complicated in there, which obviously we often, often want to do. So let's say Phil 12 at hotmail.com, right? Oop. Let's say it's hotmail.com. All right. So now I want to add this whole thing as a as a distinct as a distinct swipe phrase. I hit the swipe key. Says, hey, great, we've added this to the dictionary. So now you get online. You want to go to Twitter. You want to log in from one. So Phil twelve at hotmail.com. All in there is a swipeable string. Any way to shortcut that so you don't have to swipe out the whole thing? Um, well, the way to shortcut that is, in fact, on a real device. If mm -hmm. I was in a contacts field and I just swiped in Phil, mm -hmm. it would look through okay, your contacts. Okay, and it would find it. And, it find and it suggest all it. And, and bring it back up. Gotcha. Yep. Um, and, in fact, you know, as we get to future features, swipeable phrases, so putting in short swipe gestures mm -hmm. that generate full, either full addresses or full sets of characters, um, is is on our is on our roadmap. Show me some. When we were in Barcelona, Mike showed me just a great series of oh, infinity and circles or, oh, and sure, stars. Sure, sure. And um, yeah. Well, so one. Yeah. So just very quickly, we we can get online, right? Um, and that's that's what we want to do. Obviously, increase the interactivity. Hey, well, go slower. <laughs> go slower. Wow. Okay. So, all right. Show me how you do so the www. 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 Dot. So squiggle or loop okay. is the way swipe, we tell swipe. Show. Give me more of this. Gotcha. Right. It's the difference between sun and soon. Is a squiggle on the O. Gotcha. Right, um, and that's the same thing with hello, and it's the same thing with auto caps. Right, I can go above the keyboard to shift, or if I want to do all caps, I do a little squiggle, and I can cap the whole thing. <laughs> right, so so swipe gives you really good control over your casing, mm -hmm. over your double letters and single letters. Um, a lot of a lot of languages really it makes a huge difference, right. and the ambiguity would be very high if you couldn't distinguish between mm -hmm. these two things. So what Mike was saying is. You know, the most important thing about text input is its ability to handle variability of paths. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, I, I, you know, you might do infinity like this, um, and someone else might do it, you know, like that. Um, someone else might do it I N F I N I T Y, um, and that should. Nope, didn't get it. So I N F I N I T Y. And if it doesn't, it should be there. There it is. Mm -hmm. So the way we're getting that is it's looking at the pathing and saying, over which letters did you go and what's the most probable word that's generated? So, you know, and this is our little swipe art, um, which enables you <laughs> to start drawing the shapes with the uh, actual word that's generating. So I don't know, it's, the, it's a visual automatopoeia or yeah. something. Um, but we can see teenagers starting to get into, hey, can I draw shapes on the keyboard where the shape is represented Circle, one thing? Oval, Smiley face ram. becomes your emoticon, yeah. Yeah, C-I-R-C-L-E is kind of a fun one. <laughs> so, 
you know, it's it, it really is just a uh, it's sort of a cute way to show off the power of swipe, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of something that we think is going to take off as the users sort of become more effective. Sure. Yep. So you know, key to any text input is being able to support multiple languages. Mm -hmm. um, so we now have uh, 28, 28 or 30 languages wow. in there. Um, as you move to languages that need more characters on the keyboard, mm -hmm. you know, trying to tap on this uh, on a small phone is nearly impossible. Oh, yeah. um, but for swipe, not that I speak Russian, uh, you know, it's it's much faster. No, yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, there you go. Put, 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 put. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting emails now. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So I'm trying Your to say words. Your Russian is horrible. Your terrible. <laughs> um, we, we so know how there's to swipe like five words in twenty. Yeah. Words. <laughs> yeah. Exactly right. So um, you know we're working on now our our uh, double byte character set to support you know the Asian languages in particular Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the big things that we'll focus on next. So cool. We can start penetrating those markets. All right, so you're you're standing way over here. A little pointing device. This is on a laptop, and imagine a large screen TV. And, uh... Or presentations for business. Or... Yeah. Same gestures, same paths. Yeah. Everything works the same way. Yeah. I mean, so the value here is you're sitting in your you're, you're, you're sitting on your couch. You want to go find a movie. You want to text your friend. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the proposition of interactive television is turning the couch into a into a hub, mm -hmm. and you can't do that without waiting for text. So, you know, as you think about the set top box world, the game consoles, you, know, you want to log into your Netflix account on, on on Xbox or go type in a search to find a movie. It takes a long time. So do, 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 right, do, do, right. Click. Yeah, I think we can enhance that quite a bit. Very cool.